In 1908, Mahatma Gandhi had a busy year, craftily inventing the atomic bomb, the tweezer, and fly fishing, and all because I lost my history book. Look, I don't know what to say, so please don't get offended if reality gets a little bent the way I speak instead of sing in the shower. Listen, in 1785, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart sat upon the zenith of his power, quill in hand, and composed his string quartet number 18 in A major. 218 years later, 50 Cent spent three minutes and 13 seconds hurting English with a big club, and now I have a headache this big. I will take a kind of a shake with a moment of realization to go with a hypodermic needle full of Kool-Aid and holistic medicine. Listen, in 1879, Thomas Alva Edison filed his patent for an electric lamp, providing a way for Americans to finally see what the hell their dates looked like. And wouldn't you know it, 128 years later, parents are letting the little brats fly around on those Healy shoes and crash into me at the supermarket, causing me almost to fall. And when I say, be careful to these children, these parents bark at me like pit bulls on public assistance. It's like some frightening dream shopping. It's like some frightening dream living. Listen, it was in 1881 when Alexander Graham Bell invented the metal detector, unpaving the way for beach enthusiasts across the world to find daggers in the holiday dunes for spare change. Coincidentally, it was in 1985 when I first detected heavy metal and learned to make my first devil sign at Mr. Doors back in shop class. These are the miracles the great inventors descend upon us. I must have had too much wine in the sauna, though because I dreamed and knew intelligent interior design on my head because, listen, listen, in 1915, Albert Einstein, already famous for his series of cookbooks, published for the first time his theory of evolution, which stated that we all didn't come from the Bible. And I know I'm as liable to human error as the next guy, but what about the next guy after him? How would you like it if somebody gave you $100? Listen, in the 23rd century, Robert Fulton went back in forward time, just in time to meet himself inventing the steamboat in my high school American history. In 1858, Ezra Warner invented the can opener and then suddenly turned into me when I imagine that right now. But I can do better than Ezra. I know better than that. Listen, in zero hundred and no time never, a thought that could have easily been mistaken for God burped and burst into the universe. And then Bill Gates stood on a pyramid of iPods and made infinity proprietary. And this was a huge hassle for Aztec support because, listen, in 1900 when we met, you invented a happiness I'd never seen before. And I had to laugh at Isaac Newton for inventing basketball and yoga. Listen, when I was born, I invented the sound of myself crying. And when I think of you and I and what we had and what I did, I find I'm just as good at tears now as I was back then. Listen, in the next 10 minutes, all I'm asking is somebody, please invent some words I can hear and know that I've been living for a reason. Please. Yeah.